So I thought I'd make a short video of, uh, I was cleaning up the bench out in the garage and I found uh, an old circuit that I built uh, about a year ago. And it's a cute little circuit. It's called the Lorenz Attractor. Um, let's go out and take a look at it. So here's the breadboard. Uh, it's all hand wired. Um, we'll take a look at the schematic. Um, but uh, this is the Lorentz Attractor. It's um, a very strange circuit. It's a differential equation and it generates a specific waveform on the oscilloscope. We have uh, uh, two um, probes going to the oscilloscope. And the oscilloscope is going to be hooked up in XY mode, so it's going to plot X versus Y or channel 1 versus channel 2. And we're going to see uh, a very interesting waveform. So here we're, here we're looking at my uh, my Rigol uh, DS1074, and here is the uh, uh, the uh, interesting um, waveform that it outputs. So it's a um, chaotic uh, waveform, which means that it doesn't reproduce itself. It, it's random each time. But there are two uh, what are called attractors. So there's these two nodes in the circuit that are mm, somewhat stable but not completely stable. So the um, circuit will sort of make orbits around those two uh, points um, and will keep coming back, but does so in a uh, uh, chaotic fashion. And it makes a figure that looks something like a butterfly. So the fella who uh, was playing with this sent a paper into a journal, and it was a bit late and the journal editor thought it was still a cool paper, but instead of this weird mathematical differential blah 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 blah, he says, oh that's pretty cool, it sort of looks like a butterfly. And the paper had to do with modeling atmospheric turbulence. And so the editor said, well since it looks like a butterfly and since it's chaotic theory, uh, let's call it the butterfly effect. Um, and this is exactly where the butterfly, uh, butterfly effect came from. So, you want to build one of these, uh, there's a great website that I'll show you, and uh, it's the schematic that I uh, used and duplicated, and uh, it is a very interesting circuit. Okay, so if you want to build one of these things, there's this great website, which is... Um, users.physics.harvard.eu, Horowitz, uh, miscellaneous, Lorentz. So, but if you just uh, Google um, a Lorentz attractor, um, maybe put in Harvard, uh, you should come up with this page. Um, and uh, this is the uh, equations at the top, uh, dx dt, dy dt, and dz dt. Um, and so it's a differential equation with, with respect to time. And then there are these subvariables. Um, so uh, the circuit is um, a, an analog computer. Um, so I was interested in analog computers. I was thinking about building one. And I thought I'd build this and see if I really wanted to build an analog computer or not. But um, this is a, a nice little uh, circuit. So it has these summers. Uh, so these. Uh, op amp circuits that have a, a two resistors going in or three resistors going as a summing node. So this is a uh, minus y plus x. Uh, this is x plus minus y plus minus xz over 100. And this one is uh, minus xy over 100 um, plus uh, some constant, uh, constant offset. So these are summers, um, and then they get uh, they get turned into integrators with these uh, capacitors. Um, so they're integrating uh, a summation, 
and then they go into multipliers. Um, uh, so this one uh, takes X and Z and multiplies them together. Um, and this one takes minus Y and, and X and multiplies them together. And then there are a bunch of uh, uh, resistors. All the resistors are uh, relate, related to each other in scale. So uh, different values equals different things. Um, so you can you can work it, work it out, um, and uh, anyway, it's this it's this equation, um, and uh, it gives you the values um, x minus y and z, and uh, the oscilloscope is just looking at these two points here, the x and the minus y point, and it gives you the the uh, uh, the nice graph here on the on the oscilloscope. So it's pretty fun, um, and uh, it does give you a glimpse of uh, analog computers uh, and um, sort of you know, the basics of analog computers and what's going on. Um, what I did find was I had a hard time finding the um, multiplier, or it was way overpriced or whatever. Um, this is an MPY uh, 634, and um, what I did was I, I substituted an AD633. Uh, um, and so um, you'll just have to work it out. I couldn't find the schematic for my, uh, for my circuit, but uh, uh, there is a summation and, a, and then an external sum uh, where uh, the output can also have an offset put into it. The Z comes in as a summation to a uh, emitter follower or just a, a unity buffer. Um, so there is a, a multiplier and uh, there are some multiplication factors of one, one over 10. So you need to take that into account. But um, yeah, I wish you luck. It's a it's a fun thing to build. I had a little bit of problem with mine um, because the AD633, I, I think I had bigger offsets. It's not as nice as this part. So in order for it to be more stable, I had to add a little bit of DC offset someplace. And I, I don't remember where. Um, but in one of these summation modes, I summed in a, uh, uh, an offset. I put in a uh, potentiometer from, uh, it runs off a of plus minus 12. So put, I put a potentiometer between plus minus 12 so I could pull off a DC voltage and sum that into one of these modes to make it stable. Um, but uh, supposedly the circuit works as is. So if you build this, it should be fine. Um, but, uh, yeah, I hope you liked the video. It's a cute little thing. And, uh, uh, most people don't know about where the butterfly effect came from. So you should read up on that too.